So how is um, marriage with a Ghanaian man? Like? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it has good and bad, like everything else. But I think to my um, interest, is that even how you say it? Like it's interesting to me. Mm, it's interesting. Yeah. That we have so much in common okay. in our cultures, right? Like I find more similarities between Ghanaians and myself than I see with, let's say, China that I was living before. Um, it are, there are good things, but the bad things are that the definition of things are sometimes different for us. Like in my language, some things are not bad, mm -hmm. but I know in Chi or English, they're bad, mm -hmm. right? Like people call someone stupid here. Like that's the worst insult you okay. give someone. But for us, stupid is like a part of our language. Oh, like, oh don't, don't be stupid. stupid. Like, yeah. come on, this is so stupid. Yeah. And I used to have yeah. that problem Ooh. a lot with yeah. him. Oh, like, I would be like, oh, come on, that's so stupid. Like, oh, God. And he would be like, you called me stupid? Yeah. Do you think I'm stupid? Because that's like with Jimmy, right? Yeah, with Jimmy. Which yeah. is in Ghana is really yeah. bad. Like, yeah. when someone calls you Jimmy, it's like. Yeah, and you don't tell your husband. <laughs> yeah, like. Or yeah. another issue that I had, but interestingly, our issues was never out yeah. there in China because okay. we were both in a foreign culture. Foreign, yeah. A lot of issues happened when we moved to Ghana because now it's his culture and it's the dominant culture. Like uh, when I, one of the few months that I was, first few months that I was in Ghana, we went to ShopRite and there was an argument between us, right? So I was like, come on, don't be like this, right? Like shouting. And like there were three aunties next to and they all turned to us like judgmental and he wasn't talking to me the whole day because it was like you disrespected me to the level you don't know how i was like i didn't because people to me. us yeah. people are like you, you cannot like control your wife like <laughs> yes exactly that's the look the house, i was getting the house is your ship and you should be able to yeah be and the then captain. it means like i think to to them it meant like he's such a like he doesn't know how to take care of his wife, mm. right? That's basically the look that I got. And I was like, why you think what people to say? To you, you are thinking, it's a friend. This is my friend. And like, friends are goofy. Like, of friends course, are, not yeah. every day I'm happy. There are days that I'm angry. There are mm. days that I shout. But it's not... I've never seen a Ghanaian woman shout. Right? Yeah, I've seen Gavi men. <laughs> I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. But like, they are louder, but not to their husband. Mm. Like they don't talk to the husband, hey, like don't do, you know? Then the husband is like, is this small so, in people's eyes. So this one, I don't know if my wife is happy for me to say this on camera, but one day um, we had an argument and she went into the bedroom and I wanted to go there and go like, it's not like that, da, 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 da. And she's like, I can't take this anymore, get out. And this was the first time she actually shoved me out of her room. Oh, okay. And I was like, do you have that in you? Like. You start yeah. thinking, do you, do you have that in but you? But I just yeah. think that, in a way, that, isn't that normal emotions? I, like some yeah, days yeah, you're yeah. just angry. I turn around to you and I also push the door. And me too, I was like, You were also no, angry. No, that's not, we but don't again, get to that level. It's not something in yeah. your culture. No. Women are not loud. No. Women are, no. are very like, they're very flexible, I would say. Like so, even if things are not going to their way, they are like quiet about it. So do you have, um, do you get alienated? Say friends come together and uh -huh. then the language changes to tree and you are like, okay. Um, I don't mind here because I'm learning tree. So I'm like, uh, speak more, let oh, me learn okay. more, right? I love that. But in China, I didn't like it. Okay. Because we were like, we were a group of Ghanaians and all of them were dating different people from different cultures and we would hang out together and all the boys would speak to you and I hated it by then. I was like, this is disrespectful to me because even when I'm around my Iranian friends and my husband is around, we never speak Farsi, we speak, not never, like sometimes we speak Farsi, but most of the time we, we try to speak English because so of it. That to me, what back then was disrespecting. But now, because I'm learning three, I'm like, please speak more. I want to get, okay. I'm no more kakra kakra. Kak. Yeah. So in your house, is it 50 50 is it a man can cook and we are good or the woman has to cook oh <laughs> um no it's 50 50. 50 it has 50. always been 50 50 mm -hmm. and it's not maybe if i was going to marry someone from iran it wouldn't have been 50 50. i had to do you have to cook. yeah and i'm sure if he was going to marry someone from ghana 
the girl had to do but because of the essence of our relationship that was built in a third country that both of us were students and both of us had to put you know like we were equally working equally studying both of us were tired so we learned how to like divide everything like all the responsibilities so when we moved here it was just natural but I know it's not the case here. Mm. Like sometimes his family or cousins come and they see like, he's like, he has cooked the food or he's washing the dishes and they're like, what? Like, what is happening? But again, his family is very chill. Like they are not judgmental. If it's working for you then. They know it, this is how we are built. Like but I know it's not the case. And it's not the case in my country. Either. Like women do everything. They even like after food, they bring tea for their husband, and all, which I don't do, you know? So we are not the typical of our yeah. culture. So. Okay, so take your husband out of it. In general, what do you think about Ghanaian men, maybe African men? Uh, <laughs> I hope my husband doesn't kill me. But no, um, I think you're handsome, number mm. one. I think Ghanaian men. I don't know, I've never been to anywhere else but Ghana mm. in Africa. So I cannot talk about the rest of Africa. Ghanaian men are handsome. They know how to carry themselves. Mm. They always smell good. You smell good. Yeah, actually for people Thank who are you. watching, you smell really <laughs> Thank good. You. They smell good, they know how to talk, they know how to approach a woman, which these are good things. There are negative things like the sense of loyalty, I would say. I would say like the sense of loyalty is very different. Mm -hmm. As in like, let's say in Iran, if you cheat on your wife and your family or your friends find out, they kind of don't want to associate with you. Like, yeah. it's so disrespectful, it's so shameful that you are a part of our family. Like, what shame you brought to But here is a lot like, okay, I mean, oh, how can we fix it? Now let's go to talk to the woman. Mm. Like, it's very accepted, deep rooted. Yeah. Like, okay, no, it happens, right? Men, men cannot control mm. themselves. That's a negative part, I would say. And another negative part, I feel like there's too much pressure on men here. I, I don't know how. Like you have to take care of your woman, you have to take care of your family, auntie, this person's funeral, that person's wedding. And as a man living in this economy, how yeah, is that even possible? it can affect your relationship with your wife. And yeah. uh, if you don't have it, people don't approach you, women don't approach you. If you don't have it, you don't get the respect even from your own fellows, like mm. own friends. These are, I think, that's too but much for a man. And you don't you show think? emotion. Yeah. You shouldn't cry on top of all of this. I want yeah. to cry for many of you. <laughs> but don't you think uh, women also have equally, they also have theirs. That's why. So we are like typical hunting and um, so we go and kill. You cook we will the go, food. We will go to kill and then you cook the food. We will go to the war and yeah. you will have to clean our wounds. You will have to wash our the blood off our yeah. shield. So it's like... You, that's why you think that oh, there's a lot on the women. The women are the ones cooking. My auntie comes, you have to cook for my auntie. My friends come, you cook, but I will have to give you the kill. You know, I'll have to give you the money. I don't so, know, maybe yeah. because for women, I compare it to women of my country, mm -hmm. and I feel like their hustle is not as much as our hustle. Yeah. Right? Like in here, the man basically takes care of yeah. you, okay. pays for everything that you want to mm -hmm. do. That's not most of the case in Iran, okay. right? So, so you Ghanaian do cooking women. and all that. <laughs> or like sometimes we go to his family um, gatherings mm. and they, they call someone to come and help them cooking the food. Okay. That can never yeah. happen in Iran. Like that shows you cannot take you care cannot. of your house, right? So the pressure I feel like in Iran is if you go to traditional, mm. the modern women are different now, mm -hmm. right? But in a traditional concept, I think that women all around the world are going through that cooking for their husband taking care of their husband so it's kind of normal but for men it's a bit too mm. much in comparison to other men. you lived in uk how many of your friends from other countries they had the pressure you have True. having mm. to take care of someone back yeah. home someone's funeral uncle of auntie someone you have to pay for it mm -hmm. so finally You've got an amazing channel that I am so obsessed and jealous thank of. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> can you introduce it? Yes, uh, I changed the name. It used to be Anayeta, but I changed it to Anahita, A N A H I T A, in Ghana. Anahita in Ghana. I think it represents me better. Yeah. You know what? 
I've always dreamed about this day of meeting the good creator of uh, Anaita Thank as I you. knew it. And Thank I you. think you are really underrated. But really? everybody has got their own time on yeah. this platform. Just keep doing what you are doing. Thank you. It's good you to hear that. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. I would also like to extend my profound gratitude to Decan Center, a place where you can get educated, research, and even create and edit content for free. Please go to decancenter.org for more information. I will leave a link at the video description for easy access. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a like. Please subscribe to Anahita in Ghana and this channel to follow our journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.